Welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with chapter 4, Magnetic Field. So in this video, we will discuss on 4.3, force on a moving charged particle in a uniform magnetic field. So example 4, determine the directions of the magnetic force exacted on the charge in the following problems. Okay, so if you want to determine the directions of the force, first thing what should we do is we must use the Fleming left hand rules. Okay, so let's say this is your time. So this is force and then this is B. Okay, and this is your V. Okay, so use your Fleming left hand rules to determine the directions of the charge. Okay, so example 4 here, we have B that is acting downward and then V is to the right. Okay, so the frost is actually into the pitch. Okay, so F is into the pitch. Okay, okay B, uh, your V velocity is into the pitch. Okay, into the page, and then uh, V is going upward. So the frost is actually it is supposing is to the uh, to the right. Okay, but because this is a ch negative charge, okay, so the force will act in opposite direction. Okay, so it will goes to acting to the left. Okay, so our frost here is to the left. Okay, next. Velocity is going downward and B is into the page. Huh? This is into the page. So B is into the page. Velocity is acting downward. So the frost actually is to the right. Okay, so because it's a negative charge again, negative charge. So the frost is acting to the left. Okay, so our frost here again is to the, to the left. Okay, example 5. Okay, calculate the magnitude of the force on a proton traveling with a velocity 5 exponent 7 meter per second in a uniform magnetic flux density. This is B. Okay, if the velocity of the proton is perpendicular to the magnetic field. Okay, so for example, let's say uh, this is B, directions of B. And the velocity of the proton is perpendicular, it's 90 degree. Okay, let's say this is the directions. Okay, so the uh, force for the charge is QVB sine theta. Okay, where Q for the proton, okay, is 1.6 exponent negative 19. It's actually similar with the electron, it's just the electron is negative 1.6. So for proton, it's positive 1.6 power of negative 19. V is the velocity, 5 exponent 7. B is magnetic flux density, so it's 1.5. Sine, okay, because the question mentioned uh, perpendicular, so it's sine 90 degree. Okay, therefore, we will get 1.2 exponent negative 11 Newton. Okay, so the answer is 1.2 exponent negative 11 Newton without direction because the questions only ask us to find the magnitude. Okay, next, if the velocity of the proton makes 50 degree to the magnetic field. Okay, so if let's say this is the magnetic field B and the velocity is 50 degree to the magnetic field. Okay, so our F will equal to QVB sine 50 degree. Okay, so QVB, just now QVB is 1.2 exponent negative 11. So you sine 50 degree. Okay, so we will get 9.19 exponent negative 12 Newton. Okay, 5C. Find the velocity. Okay, when the velocity of the proton is parallel to the magnetic field. Okay, so B is to the right and our V also to the right. So F equals to QVB sine. Because it's parallel, so it's sine 0. Okay, so sine 0, you will get 0 lah. So it's 0 Newton. Okay, so we continue with example 6. Okay, example 6 is an electron. Eh? So this is an electron. At point A, in a figure above, has a speed of 2.5 exponent 6 meter per second. So they give you the value for the charge and the mass of the electron. Okay, determine the magnitude and the directions of the magnetic field that will cause the electron to follow the semi-circular path from A to B. 
okay so this is actually semi-circular power okay so actually this is a okay this is a circular path okay but it's only move in halfway only okay from a to b is halfway so we know that uh, for this case is actually we can use our fb equals to fc okay meaning that initially it will want to go to the uh, going upward okay because there is a centripetal force so it will attract in a circular it will move in a circular path okay so in order to let frost is acting uh, to the right and v is going upward okay so they ask you what is the directions of the magnetic field okay so you use Fleming left hand rules where force is to the okay force is to the uh, to the right so initially because this is a negative eh? so meaning that initially force is to the uh, force is acting okay for positive charge right okay so for positive charge force is to the left and the velocity is uh, to the going upward okay so meaning that our b suppose is into the page okay for this case is actually into the case so because this is a negative therefore our force is to the right okay so our b still the same okay b is into the page so now b is into the page okay now we want to find what is the magnitude okay so because this is a um a charge moving in a uniform Okay, uniform magnetic field so it will experience a centripetal force so our fb is equal to fc where fb for a charge is qvb okay sine 90 yeah, because uh, both of them are 90 degree so equals to nv square over r so now we want to find b so b it will equal to nv over r cube where m is the mass of the electron so it's 9.11 exponent negative 31 v is 2.5 exponent 6 r is the radius okay so here they give you 20 cm huh? this is a diameter so the radius is 10 cm and q is the charge for electron so it's 1.6 exponent negative 19 okay so if you press calculator we will get uh, the value for the magnetic field is equal to 1.42 exponent negative 4 tesla okay and the direction is into the page okay so you must use Fleming left hand rules to determine the directions okay b find the time required for the electron to move from a to b okay from a to b so the equations for the uh, period okay is equals to two pi m over b cube okay so two pi m 2 pi m is 9.11 exponent negative 31 b is just now we find the value 1.42 exponent negative 4 correct no? okay negative 4 and then q is the charge okay so the period that we will get is actually equals to 2.51 exponent negative 7 second okay but this is the period for whole cycle okay from a to b actually only half huh? so the time taken from a to b is half of the period so 2.51 exponent negative 7 over 2 therefore we will get 1.26 exponent negative 7 second only okay so that's all for this subtopic we'll continue with the next subtopic okay see you on next video bye